you're listening to the jazz fusion sounds of Street Temperature. And right now, Tom Cody, the sax player, is going to tell us a little bit about the group. Tom, how long has the group been together? It's been together for almost seven and a half years. That's a long time for a band. Yes, it is. Have you been through very many changes? Plenty of changes. Yeah. yeah. Changes. Personnel changes. Yeah, personnel changes, musical direction changes, uh, anything to keep uh, alive. Staying alive. You've always had the flute influence, is that correct? Yeah, it's always been the flute saxophone front as far as like the main sound of the group. Yeah, I remember admiring Ed for years. He plays, he's the flute player. Yeah. And I, I too am a flute player, and I think it's great. He has a job as a flute player. There aren't too many around. No, there's not too many around, as good as he is. Where's the group from? Hartford, Connecticut. Is it hard to find gigs for a jazz band? Well, yes and no. At a time, there, it was really lucrative, but now it's, it seems to be drying up a little bit. I think it's the same for everybody. <laughs> yeah, you got to travel around more, you know, to really work uh -huh. a lot. Do you have a regular gig? Yes. Where is that? The 880 Club. It's in Hartford, on Maple Avenue. Nice little jazz club. Yeah, it's a great club. That's where the band originates from. We uh -huh. You've got your start at the 880. Mm -hmm. Great, great. I understand Jeff Lorber wrote you a letter mm, recommending yes, you. Yes. How do you know Jeff? Well, we met Jeff Lorber back in 1981 uh, when he was here playing at Toad's. And uh, we went backstage and met him and oh. gave him a tape. Uh -huh. So he listened to it and wrote us back, uh -huh. critiquing our music and saying he enjoyed it a lot. Oh, that's nice. What are some of the exciting gigs you've done? Hmm. Well, we uh, opened for Dizzy Gillespie one time. Where was back that? Back at the Inn at Longshore in Westport. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice which club. was a real nice gig and nice meeting a jazz legend. Mm -hmm. Such as Dizzy. Oh, I bet. Yeah, and we worked uh, with Steve Morris, Morris Code from the old Dixie Dregs band. Oh, yeah. We worked with him, uh, Larry Coriel, Frank Foster, George Coleman, and a host of other jazz artists that mm -hmm. are from New York, and we've had the opportunity to open up and have a good time. Yeah, that's fun. I notice you have some very intricate arrangements with the band between the flute and sax. Mm -hmm. How do you work these out? Well, mainly, especially with the original material, they're all chart written. Oh, you do and, write them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Benny Armentano, who's our keyboard player, is one of our is one of our main composers, and you know he writes them out, and that's how we play them. And he has a good conceptuality of the way the band sounds and the way the music should be arranged. So he figures out the parts. Yep. Yeah, good figures, work. Does, yeah, he does a good job. Yeah. What are the plans for the future? Well, the plans for the future are to go into the studio and to record an album uh -huh. and hopefully be able to get it out and market it. This will probably be after when we go to St. Croix. We're going That's to St. Right. Croix this winter going to, Saint Croix. to uh, nice. get out of uh, the uh, winter months up in uh -huh. New England here. So it should be fun. Then come but, back and do an album. Yeah, hopefully we can do that and uh, see what we can do for, you know, the summer and, you know, next fall. We want to get the band out and want to get it all over the United States or the East Coast or wherever we can play to have our music heard. Okay, I want to wish you a lot of luck. Thank you. That's Tom Cody from Street Temperature.